Yeah, look like they're all the same, which that's nice. Okay, here's your here's your motor mount. You want to take this piece out too. You don't uh this is for your sensor, I think. Some sort of sensor. Um that you can put in your that you can put in your cars. Um I'm, I forget which one it is. It's not your heat sensor, it's something else. It's RPMs or something, I don't know, something weird like that. But you can put it back into this one. So there's a number for it that I got. Comes with a bearing in it already. Nice big fat bearing in it. Cause this one's, uh, this one comes with one, but it's small. So yeah, we need to take that one off the slipper. That's what we do. And this one does need to come off of it again. So hopefully it'll go around all this stuff. Yeah, perfect. Come on, baby. A little screw in there. Comes with a little sticker. And that little baby screw, which I don't know what that little baby screw is for, but I'll figure it out, I guess, huh? Okay. Nice. Bearing's good. Make sure that's on there tight. We'll put this little doohickey thing back in here huh so just kind of put in one side that should just pop down in there there it goes Little screw in there. It's going to keep dirt and dust out of there wherever it doesn't want to be, I guess. I don't know if it really matters or not, but. We'll put it back in there. You probably should put Loctite, but. If it comes out, it comes out. <laughs> All right. So then make sure this is back on the outside here. And this all goes back into plastic. So. And you just put all four bolts back in there. Well, four screws back in there. Okay. So let me do that.
Voila. Let's put this in there, make sure this fits. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, put the aluminum drive shaft in there. I hope this is the right, <laughs> hope this is the right size one. <laughs> Like I said, you never know until you, uh... Yeah. And we'll put this in there. You gotta kinda spin it around and line it up. You gotta, one side's taller than the other kind of thing. How about that one? There you go. Guess you don't need to put that in right now, huh? Okay. So this was the front side over here, huh? So I try to keep everything lined up, guys. The way you take stuff apart. So now I know when I put these screws over here, I had the big ones up front and the little ones up back. So the big ones went up here, the little ones went back here. So I get one started. This was a 2.5. Started. Back in this hole. One back in this hole. See, it's only, what, five screws to pull the whole front end off, so when this servo goes out, it won't be that bad to replace. Um, and who knows? You know, you never know. I still think I have a, my Rustler, I think is still a stock servo in it. So you never know. Sometimes they last, <laughs> sometimes they last years and sometimes they last a day. So you just never know. Okay. So let's put this here. There's that one. Then we can line this one up a little easier, like this, okay? All right. Flip this one over again. And here's gonna be the, the fun part. Trying to line this bad boy back up. I don't know what I did with the screw. 
Was it this one? Had to be this one, huh? Try to get them close. Not too hard to do, guys. I just gotta turn the wheels the right way, and there you go. There you go, okay. And it will have a little bit of play always been like that you could you could always uh make this one loosen this one off and push it forward a little bit which i probably will do once i get everything back in i want to make sure the car's in and pushed up against it okay so i think that's all we had to do back here uh the sway bars you don't really need uh i don't know if you can do sway bars in the front I don't even know if I, oh yeah, in the back you can, here. So it doesn't look like the front you can, because the bumper, we'll have to see. I'll have to pull that off and see. I'll have to see with these arms too, these are, it's got all the mounts for it. Just don't know where they go. Oh, probably right here, huh? So. And these front ones don't have those. They're in the front. So I don't think those are going to work. I don't have to mess with that. Well, at least we'll have them in the back. Those are different sizes. It's got front and back ones. This is for four-wheel drive slash rally. Okay. We'll have to see. And I'm just rambling. So let's put this back in there. Get this in. You just kind of roll it back and forth a little bit. It'll eventually find its way in there. There you go. See, just like that. Um, I'm going to say the longer ones were up front, huh? So yeah, you just put another one there, flip it over, and do that one's down here. Make sure that's yeah, because it doesn't go up very far, huh? Okay, put this last one in here, and we're gonna have the drive shaft in there, guys. The metal aluminum motor mount. We'll call this a video here. And then, uh, yeah, you didn't, you didn't need this part. <laughs> you don't need that anymore. So I will save that for my wrestler. Put this back on the wall. Oof. Save it for another date. We will definitely put the bearing back into a, a holder. Um, 
We'll try putting those on next time. The electronics in maybe. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, before that dries up, and I wanna make sure this does dry up. That's just a lot of, a lot of play there I don't like. So you're going to I don't want to go too far forward though. You give a little bit of a little bit of play there guys. That way when you jumps and stuff like that, it has a little bit of movement, okay? Let's try that. There you go. So you got the hot racing motor mount in there and the aluminum drive shaft put in there. Um, slipper clutch is all nice and tight. You know, like I said, you should have checked the diffs, but I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna run it the way it is. Usually Trexus is pretty good about that, so we're gonna see. You're going to see. So there you go, guys. Uh, uh, part one, part two, we'll put the electronics in it and motor tray and all that stuff in it, guys. So uh, please like, subscribe, and y'all have a great day.